Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Tariel Sultan. It's been a while since we covered Helium Network on this channel. And if you don't know, there is some huge debate happening whether Helium Network is worth the long-term horizon. So in this video, let's address some of these issues. I went on this journey doing some more research and bring you guys some updated information. I also built some Google Sheet-based resources. They are available for you guys to download. So make sure you stick to the end of this video so you won't miss any nuggets and tips and tricks. Without further ado, Let's get into it. And by the way, just wanted to make this small disclaimer that anything I mentioned in this video is not a financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. So these crypto projects are really risky and they're volatile. Make sure you psychologically and emotionally can handle the swing and do not invest more than you can afford to lose. With that said, currently we have around 910,000 miners globally. And out of all these 900K, 66.99% is actually online. In terms of the price token is at 9.45 today. But keep that in mind, this is still a $1.1 billion market cap project. Out of thousands and thousands of crypto projects, this one is still ranked 48. And also remember, Helium Network solves problem and has a utility to it. There's tons and tons of crypto projects hitting the markets every single day. And which one of these projects is going to last for the long run, time will tell. I made this chart earlier today, wanted to show you guys the market cycle of things, right? This is a Bitcoin chart in a 10-year cycle. As you can see, in the past 10 years, there are three main bull cycles. 2013, 2017, and 2021. And very interestingly, they all followed by a red bear market. So you can see 2014, we had a negative 58% down and 2018, negative 73. This year so far, I went some calculation is roughly 43 to 45% down. However, look at the 17, 21, and 13. That particular year, we had a 5,500% increase, 1,300, and 2021, we almost doubled in terms of the Bitcoin price. Again, market comes in cycle. True investor, if you think about it, if you invest in 2018, you're cashing out in 2021. So there's no such a thing in crypto that I want to invest this year. And by end of the year, I want to cash out and make a whole bunch, right? It comes with a cycle, just like real estate and any other markets. There is this market cycle. If you're smart about it, you should be investing at the downturn, which is 2021 or 2023. And slowly the market will recover and followed by the next few years of growth. And personally, it took me some time to make it, but I feel like this is really valuable information for you guys to understand the market cycle and think about a helium network came out around 2020 if i believe correctly so it's only been two and a half years so with that said here is hnt's initial distribution charts right 30 percent to the data transfer 35 percent infrastructure so a lot of us are actually focusing on this 35 percent which is all of us as a miner earning this proof of coverage the remaining 35 it goes to all the helium inc and their investors you can see here's a chart this is a 50 year horizon and the proof of coverage is going to actually diminish over time and once we build a network and the coverage it's all about the data transfer at that stage the major update happening to helium network is hip 51 this is one of the major chapter for helium network hip stands for helium improvement proposal in the hip 51 they started to introduce this term called a DAO or dnp right decentralized network protocol so underneath the umbrella of hnt now we're going to have an iot network and a mobile network so the data credits is splitting to different network protocols. They are also called a sub DAOs. So the first one here is IoT. This is where we came for. They're introducing the cellular 5G and then underneath is going to be the mobile. So in the future, they might expand to Wi-Fi and VPN and so forth. So my assumption to what Helium actually want to achieve here is they want to scale. Well, I didn't have time to build it to scale or to pay it. They no longer want to stay in the IoT. They want to scale up to the 5Gs and uh, you can see here the VPN and Wi-Fi and so forth. By the way, this one graph is causing a lot of controversial and some conflict and misinformation on the internet because some people I came across they literally took this chart says this is the future for helium network and from now on we're earning 88.9 percent cellular 7.5 percent VPN 2.7 so we're only squeezed here to 1.2 percent we're and that is the narrative happening in the market. However, read the bottom here. This chart illustrates the combination, the combined opportunity of the global telecom market. And please note that this is not relevant to how much h and is being basically allocated or being paid as a commission. So that's really what I'm seeing right now is that a lot of people actually take this so seriously and thought this is the future for uh, Helium and every miner is f 
blocked right now, right? Phase one is basically happening in Q2. This is a mobile token introduction. And then phase two is August 1st. This is basically next week. So all the low RAVM miners, the hotspots that we currently own, we're going to be switching to IoT tokens, which can be converted to HNT tokens. And if you have the 5G miners, you'll be earning mobile token. And from there, you can convert the mobile token to HNT. This is a little graph made by their team. Before HIP 51, you can see the scale is here. And after the implementation, it's going to be a bigger scale. I guess the Helium network here is just trying to aim for the longer horizon. And now let's address the elephant in the room. In 2022, is this still too late to buy Helium Miner or started to mine these Helium tokens? With that said though, I build a little Google Sheet resources here, trying to illustrate some of the points I want to make to see if this is still worth the time and the money and the investment. So this is the Google Sheet that I build. All the data here is live. So it's basically dynamically updating itself. So the currency we're based on is USD. The miner price right now, on average, I check some of these miners let's just say 429 430 ish if you want to do an antenna upgrade let's just say 40 to 50 bucks you spend on that and shipping and everything is 25 dollars your total investment into helium miner is actually around 500 usd and now let's check out how the roi plays out and you can see hnt price right now is at 9.37 since launch we had a close to 4600 percent increase in terms of the price and then 24 hour change 30 day change and one year change and then the most important and two segments or two sections you want to pay attention to is the current versus the price projection. So if I grab this link right here, it's going to direct you to Helium Plus earning calculation. So let's say I have a few miners, click on see results. So based on the current mining situation, the entire network, we can earn about 0.45 HNT token per month. This is pretty accurate to be very honest uh, because I have a few Helium network deployed. They're pretty close to this number. The good ones is probably going to double it. I'm going to show you guys a couple of miners that I've found. So let's just punch in here. Let's say 0.45. All time high of HNT is 54.5. 88 is close to $55 USD. This happened this year. If you're getting to Helium Miner, if you want to break even from the calculation, it takes you 8.5 years to break even, right? You can see here's daily, monthly, and yearly ROI returns. However, here's the thing about mining cryptocurrency, right? The mining amount, the BTC, the HNT doesn't matter. The, the token amount won't change. What's fluctuating is that price. For example, if you're mining Bitcoin back in 2008 with your laptop, let's say you got a two BTC a day, right? That too is not going to change. What's changing for 10 years is actually Bitcoin price fluctuated, right? It goes up and down, up and down. And now the two never changed. All of a sudden, 10 years later, you mine two Bitcoin times today's price, let's say 25K, that's $50,000. Do you see the dollar amount is always fluctuating? And that's why I introduced this parameter called the price projection. Here you can enter the expected HNT token price. For example, it popped. The all time high is $55 here. So let's say if the HNT token is back in 55, you're still mining 0.45 a day. Now, instead of 8.5 years, it takes you 1.4 years to get your ROI back. And now think about it. What if you put this miner in a really good prime location that actually earns a little bit better? And I'm going to show you guys a couple of miners that I've found. For example, there's some miners earning one HNT a month month easy. Okay. If you're doing one, look at these numbers will change. Let's say token price is set to 9.43, then it takes you 3.8, right? However, if the crypto markets kind of recover, HNT recovers, the price come back to 55, it only takes you eight months for break even. And now let's say the token price go up to $100. Some people speculation says it could be in the next bull cycle, then all of a sudden, it only takes you four months for break even. So this is basically a couple parameters you can tweak. Now let's go to the practical examples that I found. So, so this is the one located in Cambridge, you can see here 24 hour earning is $1. So every 24 hours he's earning about 0.116, right? Out of 30 days, he's earning 4.64. So let's just punch in this number here. This is a new feature introduced by uh, Helium Explorer here, you can see the AHR. This is basically an estimate let's say remember our minor investment is $500 and then if I set this miner at this exact location to earn how much he's earning then it takes me around one year 
which is 11.77 month to break even. So make my initial back, right? Whatever you earn from there is going to be all profit. Here's a second minor location. You can see here, this is Vancouver, BC. He's using 5.8 DBI antenna, 80 meters tall. Right now, if you want to earn decent amount of rewards, do not go crowded places. Some of these places are really crowded. And just to make a point, you see this 55 miners inside of one hexagon, and you can see here the reward scale is 0.01. That's why they're earning nothing. That's why if you want to set up miners, set somewhere kind of far that you can enjoy that reward scale of 1.0 or anything higher, like 0.75, 0.85, and have a better antenna and a good height. All of a sudden, you're witnessing a whole bunch of people and you get to earn above the network average. And this is the second miner that I found, 5.8, 80 meters tall. And he's doing a terrific job, by the way. And he definitely knows what he's doing here. If you come to 30-day earning, he's earning 6.3 HNT. And think about this, right? 6.3, if you hold that back to all-time high, if it comes back to all-time high, that's around $346. Even though right now it seems like $60, but it has the potential to reach back to $350. That's why if you're holding HNT, you probably don't want to sell right now. You want to hold it until the token recovers to the next bull cycle. That's when you decide buy or sell. And now with over 900,000 miners around the world, we have to split this pie, right? All the miners have to have some sort of a pie split. That's why the more miners jumping onto the network, the less we get to earn. So this reward will keep cutting further and further. So the only thing we hope that can give us a better ROI is HNT token, $200 that takes five months. Don't take it too serious, okay? This is not seriously saying it will reach 20, it's just a speculation or projection. And lastly, for the second miner here, if I do $500 um, investment to buy a miner, do a quick calculate, it will take me about nine months to break even. So if I have my miner, the exact same setting as this person, set it my location to this person, and I'll be earning about um, nine months to break even. So when you put these numbers, let's say 6.3, we'll put 6.3 in here, it will take you about seven months or 0 0.6 a year to break even, okay? Now, if that token price come back to $55 uh, here, it will only take you one month to break that even. So this is kind of like how I take this whole thing. And also I'm not the developer or the technician guide. I'm just a, a crypto enthusiast. And also the Google Sheet template link is in the description below. You can go grab it. Just drop your email. I'll send the link to your email so you can copy paste this entire template and play around yourself before or after you get into HNT mining. Last two topics, let's cover them real quick. First one is, is it really worth the investment now to buy into Helium Miner? If you're not sure with what's happening to HIP51 and how it's gonna impact the entire network, then hold your position. Don't easily get into it. You just wanna observe to see what's going on with the network, then you can jump into it, right? And number two, if you really have like 500 bucks laying around that you want to get involved with a fun project that has a utility, that has a longer, horizon in terms of how you can get involved with, then it wouldn't be a bad idea just to get one miner to play around with until you get familiar with how Helium Network works. So in the future, you won't regret five years down the road that you wished you got involved with the Helium Network. If you do want to buy miners, don't just get any one of these brands. There's two brands I truly recommend. The first one is Bobcat. The second one is Minted. Bobcat is doing an amazing job. However, the issue with the Bobcat is anything you order right now, you have to wait 20 to 28 weeks weeks for this miner to arrive. Don't do it. It's not worth it. I strongly recommend you guys to check out Get Minted because I have about four miners from Get Minted. I never had any issue with them. I have a one Bobcat miner that actually arrived. I set up everything and then that miner for six months earned basically zero. I tried to get a hold of Bobcat support team. It might have to do with that two or four gigs of RAM issue. Out of that batch of my Bobcat miner, that one miner never earned anything. And Minted is getting a drop method. Every time when there's a drop happens, they're going to email notify you in advance. All you need to do is show up at the right time, at the right place, select the miner you want to buy, and you can actually get these within five to seven days. That's how fast I was able to buy mine. So again, my recommendation 
recommendation is to grab this Google Sheet and play around with the numbers and go to your specific location on the Helium network map here, the Explorer, just to go pinpoint your location. You might be able to find some good opportunities in your region. And if it is, and if you have a $500 laying around, then you can get into it. Otherwise, I would recommend you guys to hold your position. Don't easily get into like Bobcat or anything like that. Wait for 20 to 28 weeks. That's a seven month. There's a lot can happen within seven months, right? And there is another method you can get minor faster is through these eBay or secondhand market. However, you want to make sure, okay? Make sure it's brand new. Once the minor has been set up, it's gonna be synced to that wallet unless the person transfer that entire minor to your wallet. If you get these miners, it won't work or you are mining for someone else, not for yourself. So be careful uh, with the secondhand market. If you end up buying, buy from a reputable seller or buy it brand new. And now if you watched it through to this part of the video, I want to give you guys some of my personal data. Been mining Helium since 2021 at July. That's when I got my first miner. This is my personal tracking information on this one particular miner and maybe help you to better understand the reward side of HNT or Helium network. Since 2021, August, here's the duration of that entire month. And here is the token earned in that entire month. If you have uh, some sort of a collaboration with your friends or family, you want to give them a split, then you can put the split in here. I normally go with a percentage base. Here's the token price. These two columns are really important. This is basically tracking the price of h and in that particular month. Price fluctuated, right? End of November, it went to $38, $39 and all the way came down to eight or nine or $10 right now. Here's the two columns of profits. First one is h and Again, remember I told you guys, this will never change if I don't sell it. It, this number will always be 71. Only thing that's changing is the h and token price, right? If I cash out at the end of every month, I would be earning about $2,000 with 71 h and tokens, right? Again, if I hold the 71 h and tokens, hold it until the all-time high, that is 1,900 versus 3,900. That's why you get to decide when you want to sell some of these tokens and get your profit back. And that's why it is really important. Once you get your miner, once you earn around $500 worth of h and you kind of want to sell it out and get your initial back, right? And whatever you earn from that point and beyond, is pure profits. You always want to bring the risk down. So if you happen to have a minor set up, if you happen to earn $500, get it back. So this way you're risk-free. You walk into a risk-free mentality, it kind of really relax you or ease you out, right? Otherwise, you're constantly observing h and token prices. Here's another interesting data, right? And this minor location is a slightly above average, meaning it's not like a prime location, but it's a decent location until the recent six months or so, there's a lot of miners set up in this one hexagon. That's why the reward scale started to go down, right? But with that said though, since I started mine until just very recent, you can see at the bottom, average is around 6.48, let's just say 6.5 HNT a month. That is my record for this one miner. This is how I'm able to track everything and track my ROI. For the Helium network in general, the HIP51, it's really a big impact to the entire Helium community. Is this project going to stay for the long run? Time will really tell, right? I can't really give you an, an accurate answer of this project is 100% going to the moon or it will bust from here. I really don't know. That's why time will really tell. Maybe you guys have some thoughts and some observations and opinion. Drop them below in the video. I'd love to give them a read. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do. On this channel, we talk about all crypto related subjects and topics. This is Tariel Sultan signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.